Or are you feeling overwhelmed by the number of Microsoft 365 plans? Well, you're not alone. Choosing the right Microsoft 365 plan can be a very, very confusing task for many people. In this video, I'm going to explain the different Microsoft 365 plans and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to determine the right plan for yourself or for your business. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and in this video, we're going to be looking into the Microsoft 365 world. We will demystify the multiple Microsoft 365 plans that are out there for you, whether you're an individual, family or a business. Okay, so let's back up and get started into making the correct decision for your Microsoft 365 plan. We're going to start off with the Microsoft 365 family and personal plan. So Microsoft 365 Personal, as the name suggests, is for an individual. Whether you're a student, a freelancer, or just someone who's looking for a Microsoft 365 plan. So this includes your favorite Microsoft 365 applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and many more. Plus, you also get one terabyte of cloud storage. The best part is you can install this on up to five personal devices so you can actually install this on your mobile phone your laptop your desktop and your tablet let's look at this example Peter Parker can actually install his Microsoft 365 personal plan on his laptop his desktop his mobile phone and his tablet and all his data synchronized across all these devices seamlessly and very very securely what if Peter wants to share his subscription with his Uncle Ben? Well, of course, he can do that if he wants to. But however, this can get very tricky. What I mean is, if Uncle Ben installs Peter's subscription on his desktop, this means that he will have access to Peter's private data that's stored in his OneDrive. Well, that's not a very, very secure situation, isn't it? Well, that's why there's another option, Microsoft 365 Family Plan. This plan is a superhero for households. It accommodates up to six users under that same plan. This means each family member gets their own Microsoft 365, 365 account, providing them access to the full suite of applications, just like what we saw in the Microsoft 365 personal plan. Plus, each user get their own one terabyte of OneDrive storage. Each person can install and use it on up to five devices simultaneously with their own private data secured in the OneDrive. Well, of course, there are limitations to the Microsoft 365 family and personal plans. They don't have the advanced features such as SharePoint for your document management, Microsoft Teams, or uh, improved communication and collaboration and exchange for your email hosting. Well, these features are available on the Microsoft 365 business plan, which we're gonna be talking about in the next video. Well, there you have it. We have cracked the code to the Microsoft 365 family and the Microsoft 365 personal plan. Well, remember, the best plan for you depends on the need, whether you are an individual or with a family. In the next video, we are going to be explaining more in detail the Microsoft 365 business plans that are available, of which there are so many of them. And we're going to be looking into the common ones, such as Business Basic, Business Premium. Um, and we're going to explain the differences so that it may help you if your business to choose the correct plan for you. Well, thank you for joining me in this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these tech videos. And together we will learn, share, and grow in technology. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.